adding and subtracting three fractions. Make a long line, look for the common denominator. The common denominator go to the biggest number. See if both of these numbers go into this number, but only three goes into the six, but four doesn't. Now you go to the next multiple of the six, which is 12. Does four go into 12? Does three go into 12? Yes, both of them go into 12. Therefore, 12 is your common denominator. Now, instead of multiplying this by two, multiplying this by two, multiplying this by four, multiplying this by four, multiplying this by three, this by three, just go 12 divided by six, that will tell you what you have to multiply the top by. So 12 divided by six is two, so you have to multiply this by two. 12 divided by three is four, so you have to multiply the one by four. 12 divided by four is three, so you have to multiply the three by three. Now you get 10 plus one times four is four, minus three times three is nine. So 10 plus four is 14 minus nine is five over 12, best way to add and subtract fractions.